Hola, and welcome to the iPhone 4 review. My hair is really messed up. That's better. Anyway, yeah, iPhone 4. Right here, going to review it and stuff. And that's wonderful. So yeah, let's begin. Close. Anyway, I want, there's a lot of stuff I want to get I want to talk about on the, about this phone, which is why I'm splitting this review into two parts. One part you're seeing today, which is Tuesday, the 27th, and one part you'll see tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, July 28th. And uh, yeah, a lot of more iPhone stuff coming in the future. So uh, let's get started. Since there's a lot of stuff to talk about, I'm gonna get right to it. I'm not gonna waste any time. So first, home screen right there. Just opening that up right there. There's actually a lot of more stuff on the 3GS you were able to, but 3G and the first original iPhone you weren't able to with the uh, back screens on the home screen and on all the pages. I don't know if you could see that, but there's like a, you can actually put an image behind the home screen and that's uh, and that stuff. And uh, yeah, um, new app folders where you can basically put apps into folders. The most you could put right now in one folder, I think, is 10. I think you name it um, according to, like, the thing. Like, so, there's one app folder that already comes with the phone utilities, which comes with the calculator, compass, voice memos, and you could add other utilities, you know, things that you use mostly. And then I made a few more social, Facebook and Twitter, and then photography, which is uh, iMovie and all that stuff that I use to edit my videos and photos and uh, take photos. Um, it's basically the same theme as a regular iPhone. You know, there's a lot of the same stuff, but a lot of new stuff that, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, there's a lot of new stuff and a lot of old stuff that they kept, but there's a lot of st new stuff that they uh, added. But before I go any further, I want to talk about the antenna problems that some people have been having on the bottom and on the top where there's antennas where people have been getting drop calls. So before I go any further, I want to talk about that. A lot of people have been having problems with the phone getting drop calls with with their phone carrier because of these antennas on the side. I don't know if you can see them. There's one right there and there's one on the other side. Right there and there's one on the top. But that shouldn't be much of a problem because most people don't talk on the phone like this. But there may be a problem when people talk like this because a lot of people hold it like that. People have been saying that when you hold it like this, you get drop calls, and that's a text message. I like Oreos also. So yeah, Apple, anyways, uh, problems with the antennas on the side getting drop calls. Apple's actually offering to send free bumpers, those things that go around the phone to cover that um, silver part of the iPhone 4. There's actually an app, and it, there's steps to getting it for free, and that's going to be a separate video that I'll make later this week. So yeah, that's basically the problem. Steve Jobs actually had a keynote, you know, explaining to everybody that whole uh, problem, and there was like a big controversy with this website. Him, people saying that he knew about it before that iPhone was even released, and other people, and he defended himself saying, you know, that never happened, whatever. So I'm going to go into that in a whole other video because I'm already wasting a lot of time. and I'm very off topic of what I actually wanted to talk about. So yeah, um, let's get back to actually reviewing the iPhone. First thing I'm going to go over is the camera, which you press on like that. This phone actually has a camera in the front, which is right here, and the back, which is right there. It also has a flash, which I'll show a little bit later. Right here, you switch it from photo to video and there's a flash button right there. For a photo, it's automatic. We, if you put it on automatic, as soon as you take the picture, the flash will go. But if it's on video, the flash stays on. So right now, I'm going to switch it around. And you can see me talking. It's actually really good video. I actually posted a test video on another one of my channels, but I deleted that channel because there was a problem with the uh, syncing of it to my iPhone. Actually, right now, I'm going to try out the flash, switch it to video flash on. It's actually really it's actually really bright. I know that it looks a lot brighter because the glare and the camera, but this is actually really bright. Like 
in, in a room where it's really dark, it really uh, lights everything up. Also, some of you may know that in the App Store, I don't know if it's always there, but mostly in the App Store, when you go to Top 25 or whatever you're on, there's a thing that says iOS 4 Exclusive Apps, where there are a lot of apps that you can only get with the iPhone 4 software or the iPhone 4, um, such as iBooks, Hulu Plus, and my favorite iMovie, which is um, an editing software that comes with most Apple computers iMovie is a basically video editing right on your iPhone and you can post it straight to Facebook, YouTube, a lot of big social networking sites. Actually, I'm not going to go into that right now because part two is basically going to be devoted to an iMovie tutorial slash review kind of thing. So I don't want to spoil much of that now. But yeah, that's one of the exclusive apps to the iPhone 4 is iMovie. It's actually, uh, it's actually a lot better than I thought it would be for a phone. It's actually a pretty good editor. Also, the new YouTube Mobile, which kind of fits right in with the new iPhone, it came out around the same time as iPhone 4 did. And um, it's actually a lot better and a lot faster than the old YouTube Mobile. If you want to get to it, m.youtube.com on your mobile phone. Videos are actually, the quality is actually pretty good. It actually is really good, almost as if you're watching a video on your computer. As you can see right now, the, the I don't know if you can see, but it's actually kind of grainy, you know, like it used to be on old YouTube mobile and on that matter for watching it, most videos on phones. It's actually pretty grainy, but then on, right underneath the video, you could press HQ and it's actually HD. You probably can't tell, but that is actually a lot better quality than the previous video that I just showed you. It's actually, uh, it's not grainy at all. I can see perfectly clear. It's actually a really, really good high quality, and uh, yeah. That about wraps up part one. Uh, tune in tomorrow for part two, which is basically iMovie tutorial slash review. So tune into that, and uh, yeah, peace.